So this leaves two remaining fights we want to talk about. Um, they're probably my two exciting fights that, that I'm really excited about for this card. Obviously, uh, it just got announced yesterday. My boy Jeremy Stevens is fighting Yves Edwards. If anybody knows that's in the game, knows that they were supposed to fight back on the UFC Fox in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. But some legal troubles kept Jeremy out. So now they're finally fighting. Jeremy's taking this fight on uh, two weeks' notice. So I guess on paper, Yves is going to have the advantage because he's been in a training camp. He's getting ready for uh, another fighter. But the best thing about uh, Jeremy Stevens is Jeremy Stevens is the type of guy that can fight somebody on, on zero, zero notice and come out, go out there and knock him out. Obviously, he's got heavy hands. He's explosive. He's tough as nails. And he's really experienced. I mean, the guy's got 16, 17 fights in the UFC, and he's only 20. I think he's 26. So, I mean, to have that many fights in the UFC, he's really comfortable. And I definitely see him, you know, putting on Yves. He's got nothing to lose in this fight. He's taken on short notice. Uh, you know, he's lost his last couple, but they've been against, you know, Showtime Pettis and Dallas Cerrone. And that's one thing about a Jeremy Stevens is he never takes easy fights. Um, Yves, on the other hand, is, is a, you know, good at moving in and out. And I feel like the, the key to this one is, is Jeremy finding his range and, and, you know, just doing what he does best. You know, a little heathen style, catching him, get him against the cage, throwing vicious punches, knees, and uh, finding the range and, and KO and uh, Yves Edwards. So I'm going to take uh, Jeremy Stevens by uh, KO in the third round. I think it's going to be a great back and forth fight. Both guys are going to show a lot of heart. I think my man, uh, Lil Heathen, is going to come out on top of this one. Maverick, you better choose this um, one correctly, too. Or we're not friends anymore. Um, I'm going to agree to disagree with you. Uh, before I before I explain <laughs> that, I'm going to give a little rundown on both guys. I mean, in Eves, you got a veteran, man. The guy's seen it all. He's been in the game a long time. Um, you know, kind of like DJ, he's in the glory run of his career. You know, he's in his mid-30s. Real crafty southpaw. You know, he, he's well-rounded. He's good on the feet, good on the ground. Um... But he, for being a southpaw, he has shown he, he has trouble with right-handed guys. I mean, if you saw the Sam Stout fight, he took that vicious uh, lead left hook from Stout and uh, you know Stout floored him. And uh, no disrespect to Sam Stout, uh, Sam doesn't have the punching power that Heathen does. Heathen's got uh, some of the biggest punching power at lightweight, if not the most punching power at one. He has the most punching power at 155 pounds. Um, but I think this. I, I think Heathen's going to take him in round one, man. I think that you know, I, I know. I don't know Jeremy well, but I know him well enough to know that uh, you know he's probably really got the itch to fight right now. You know, having the whole fallout with uh, you know with the UFC and the whole thing he went through probably really has him itching to fight. So you know, he was in great shape before his fight got canceled. So I don't see him uh, being out of shape. So I don't think this being a short notice fight is really going to make a difference. I think he's still going to be on, and I think he's going to come out, and I think it's either going to be an overhand right or it's going to be a lead left hook, and it's going to be a KO in round one. So I'll agree with you, Jeremy Stevens is going to win, but I disagree with you. It's going to be round one. <laughs> nice. That, that was a close one there because if we uh, didn't have to agree on that one, I might have been a little upset. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, so like we said, uh, Jeremy Stevens is going to win this one. Uh, so shout out little Heathen. Get it done October 8th or December 8th. So our last fight. A really interesting one here. <laughs> Michael Maverick Chiesa versus it's Marcus Lavassa, right? Yeah. Okay, and uh, what's interesting about this fight is is Maverick was supposed to fight Rafael Oliveira, who is actually a, a really great fighter, a good jiu-jitsu guy. He, I heard he broke his hand and he, he's out. So now they got uh, Marcus Lavassa, who's coming off a win over um, Carlo Prater. Yeah, Carlo Prater over, over by split decision. I actually had a chance to watch that fight. Uh, Lavaster seems to me he's a, he's a shorter guy. He seems a little bit smaller for the 155 pound division. He's explosive, a great wrestler. I think he was uh, what was he 300 and 0 or something in high school or yeah, somebody says something like that. that. Yes, four time, division, four time division three national champion. So a division three national champion four times. Um, but I, I think right now I, I think Mavericks got the momentum on his side coming off the show. Uh, you know, a great great competitors on the show. I, I think the experience that, that Mike got on the show is uh, going to pull through in this one. I think this is a fight for Mike that he can uh, show his skills. You know, I, I think he can he can throw. He's got a great reach advantage on the guy. He's uh, southpaw, so it's going to be a little bit trickier for the, for the guy. Um, he can. I think this is a fight for Mike to open up on his on his hands and his feet and his knees. And obviously, Mike's wrestling is great. And then uh, and, and then two, the great thing about this fight for Mike is even if Marcus does get him to the ground. Which you know, as Marcus' best thing is his wrestling. Is Mike off of his back is really dangerous there too. So I definitely see Maverick finishing this fight, but I, I feel like that that uh, Mike has so many utensils to finish this fight. I can see him finishing on the feet. I can see Mike getting a takedown. The guy giving him his back, choking him out off his back, and then I can see Mike getting taken down and, and finish him with a submission. So 
Uh, I, I, see, I see Maverick uh, looking good in this fight, and I see him pulling out uh, either a submission or a TKO. So, that's how I feel. Buddy. Gosh, making me blush right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, Levesseur, four-time uh, Division three national champ, undefeated in college. You know, he's a very athletic guy. Um, you know, I've watched a lot of footage on him. You know, he's got some KOs and stuff, but not against uh, high-level competition. Um, you know, and obviously if people have watched me, they know kind of my style is just kind of hanging in there. Uh, I'm good on top, good on bottom. Uh, a lot of people feel like the hole in my game is my stand-up, and it kind of has been, but that's something I've worked extensively on since the show. And like Miles said, um, you know, being on the show and going through that whole process, uh, you know, it's not that it exposed me. I already knew my holes in my game were, but it just the show made me have more confidence in myself. And uh, you know, this is the first time I've got to train full time. You know, I've always had a full time job, so now fighting is my job. I've been working real hard, and uh, you know, I'm going to beat Levester on the feet. I'm going to force him into a takedown. Um, he's the type of guy that he he doesn't know if he's right handed or left handed. I've watched some of his fights, and uh, he comes out righty, but the second he starts getting hit, he goes southpaw because he wants to wrestle. Um, you know, I don't want to expose too much of my game plan, but all I know is if he wants to stand with me, he's going to get beat up. If he wants to take me down, he's going to get subbed. Uh, um, so I'm not going to pick how I'm going to win. I just know I'm going to do it, and I know I'm going to finish him. So I got Mike Kiesa by finish in round whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So obviously you heard it right there. Um, how, let me just ask you a quick question. How, how was your training camp? How are you feeling for the fight? Are you, are you ready to rock, or, or what's going on with that? Oh, man, my training camp's been great. I spent some time in Sacramento with Uriah. Um, you know, a lot of great wrestlers down there. You got Lance Palmer, uh, four-time Division One All-American. And, you know, a four-time D1 All-American compared to a four-time D3 National Champ. I got Lance Palmer beating Mark Sylvester 100 out of 100 times. So, you know, I, I did a lot of wrestling with Lance, a lot of work with Uriah and Team Alpha Male. And then I came back home and I had my boys, you know, Lyle Beerbaum, Sam Cecilia, Cody McKenzie. And, you know, Cody has a win over Levesseur by guillotine. So, uh, you know, that that's always a good thing to have in my back pocket for this training camp. But, I mean, my camp's been great. It's been the best one I've ever had. I'm healthy. I'm injury-free. And uh, more than anything, man, I'm just itching to fight. Two weeks away, I'm ready to do it. Definitely. So, yeah, that, that's, that's a good point, too. You know, you, when your training partners, uh, Cody, who, uh, who actually got a, a win over... Levasseur already, so that's got to give you more confidence. And uh, and like like I said, you know, it's it's hard to explain to people coming off that show the type of confidence that that show gives you. It's like a a calm calm confidence where you know you've been in the worst situations that you can. You you've been in a house away from your family, no TV, nothing, just for three, not only six weeks, but our show was three months. So I mean, going into this fight, it's kind of like that. This is we we've been through worse kind of type type of mentality. You know what I mean? It's like now we've actually got to sit back with our camps. We got to go. We get to go home. We get to see our friends. We get to see our family after training. So uh, I mean, this this is just just extra. I, I feel like you know whenever we get to fight now in front of a crowd, actually, you know, instead of a, a gym, you know. So it's like uh, it it's you know the the worst is I feel like is behind us. You know, so so this now is uh it gives you a, an extra confidence boost you know going into fights like this you know i, I couldn't imagine going into a, a ufc fight w without that that ultimate fighter experience you know i mean i would just be so much more I, I, it's i'm nervous i'm always nervous for a fight but with the ultimate fighter behind me and being through the process and you know fighting out there in, in front of you know the dana white and and you know being not you know fighting in front of the, the palms and being on the tv and all that you know you kind of get you, you get used to that a little bit you know it's kind of uh I guess it, it's it's tough going through it. It's like a trial by fire, I guess you could say. It sucks going through it, but when you get done with it, you feel a lot more uh, of a man, and you, and you feel a lot more confidence in yourself. So, uh, like I said, I think that's going to be another great thing in for Kiesa's fight, uh, you know, that, that confidence boost that he gets, because obviously Levasseur has never been through the ultimate fighter and, and whatnot. So, I think, you know, like I said, Maverick's going to win this one. So, in closing, um, this is our picks. You know, Team Fury, take it how you want it, love it or hate it. Maverick, we got over here, uh, you know, giving his picks. Take it out, you want it. So, yeah, uh, brown beard don't care. So <laughs> love you, it or leave it. <laughs> you heard it right there. So shout out Sam Page, uh, shout out Heathen. I gotta definitely come down to Spokane after this fight and uh, and visit you guys, man. It's one, it's on one of my goals, and uh, I'm definitely gonna do it. And you gotta come out next week, come to Cali, come by Alliance, and uh, we'll get some training. Absolutely, man. You come to Spokane, and then uh, when you leave to go back to SD, we'll just follow you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Tell Sam Page I said what up, man, and uh, and uh, hope he's doing good for sure. Absolutely. Team Fury, baby. Maverick. It's our predictions. Yeah.